Hello, my dream bees. Happy December. I am going to do a little bit of a different video this week. I want to talk about some holiday gift guide ideas for that special yoga lover in your life. So maybe it's someone you know that's really into health and wellness and you want to get them that perfect special gift. So let's get to it. So grab yourself a little warm drink. I got my homemade chai tea latte here and some comfy clothes. And we're just gonna talk about some gift ideas that might make someone really, really happy. First things first, when it comes to getting that perfect gift, make sure that it is something sentimental. It's always gonna mean so much more if you got that gift because you thought that person was gonna love it. You could see their face smiling and you knew it would make them happy. That, first of all, is more important than how expensive the gift is, how big it is, how many gifts you bought them. So make your gift personal and special. When it comes to people that love yoga, there is always that little side of health and fitness. So getting gifts that are geared towards wellness, uh, mindfulness, healthy eating, uh, good uh, fitness lifestyle, that kind of stuff. You can also think about that person and the type of choices they make. Do they prefer to buy sustainable clothing? Do they prefer to have packaging that is environmentally friendly? A lot of people that are into yoga try to be thoughtful with those things. So maybe think about that for that person if you want to get them paper packaging just to add that special touch that you are thinking about them and the stuff that they find important. Something very obvious when it comes to yoga is something like crystals. So you can buy them a crystal that you saw in a store that maybe made you think of them. Maybe a crystal that was their favorite color or a crystal that represents a quality that makes you think of them. That can be something that's really personal. Or if you know what they're going through in their life, maybe they suffer from anxiety, you can get them a crystal that helps them deal with anxiety. And to make the gift a little bit more special, you can maybe take that crystal and buy it in the form of jewelry. So for example, here. So for example, this is a, a stone of Amazonite and it's in a necklace. So it's almost like two gifts in one. You get to give them the beautiful facility of having a bit of jewelry. And then on the other side, you get to give them a crystal that you know that they're going to love. Another option for gift giving is making it homemade. You cannot get more personal than something homemade and it is super sustainable. It doesn't have to be something that you bought on Black Friday. It didn't have to cost a lot of money, but it really came from the heart. So some gift ideas that you can make yourself that are not too difficult. You don't have to be the greatest artist in the world, but it can still come out as a nice gift. So here I have some seashells that I just picked up along the lake. And what I've done is I've bought little paints from the store. I bought like silver, like a lavender paint, gold, I even bought some sparkles and I just painted them all over, gave them a bit of a shimmer. I bought like a very clear white lacquer and I did it on top and it made them just like extra shiny and they last longer. And what I do is I put them in my jewelry stand and then I put my jewelry on top. So it's kind of like a little jewelry holder. I put my earrings on them or I put my necklace in this one and it's something so simple and so beautiful and if you know that it was made by your best friend or one of your siblings it could be all the more special so another gift idea that could be interesting is pottery so whether you buy it or if you want to make it yourself these ones i just made myself with general palmer's clay and you put it in the oven easy oven bake clay comes out hard and then if you want you can paint it. I mean I just put like the shiny lacquer on top or even like a hairspray and then it dries and it like stays good as new and has like such a nice shine to it. And I feel like you can make them personal, you can maybe write their name or a little inside joke or a secret message. 
This one I made out of clay is like a little ring. It's a small little ring that was super easy to make, bakes in like 10 minutes, but is also really cute and personal. Another gift idea, which would be very greatly appreciated by people that practice yoga, would be to get them some massage rollers. Now, it may seem like a very obvious gift or something that's not very expensive, but it goes a long way that you are thinking about them. You know that they practice three times a week and they get sore muscles. Get them like a really good foam roller. This one has spikes on it, so it really gets deep into your back or into your legs. This one is more of like a handheld. You can take traveling with you and they come in all different sizes. So just a thoughtful gift. My next gift idea is one of my favorites. I suggest you get them maybe a journal. Now, a lot of people that practice yoga do also like to reflect and journal and you can get them a really beautiful personalized journal with maybe their favorite color on it. Um, maybe you got it from their favorite bookshop. And something that one of my friends used to do when I was younger is she would buy me a journal and on the inside, the first page she would always write me something like a, a beautiful card, a beautiful message, maybe some inside jokes. And looking back at them now, I always love to read them and laugh. And I think it's just such a special touch um, to give someone that for Christmas. There's also nothing more special than your word. And I feel like being honest and sharing your word with them is, it's also kind of rare and very special for them to keep. So keep that in mind. Keeping on with the idea of journals, we have books. Now, if you know someone that is into self-help books or just reading for growth or reading for mindfulness, you know, treat them to their next great adventure. Treat them to that next book. So some examples here that are very well known, but so effective. We have The Power of Now by Edgar Tolle. Definitely have reread this one a couple times because it just makes you feel good. It gives you those little reminders to be kind to yourself, to take care of your life, your home, your body. Maybe if they're really into food, you can get them a cookbook. Or if they study yoga and they study Ayurveda, you can get them a beautiful Ayurveda cookbook to have wonderful recipes for their body type. And keeping with the idea of books, we also have planners. So if you know that person is a very busy person, they got lots to do, get them a cute little planner that maybe has like blank pages on the back for journaling, maybe has some stickers. And you can also go through that planner and write down your birthday, their birthday, little secret messages throughout the planner. I think that adds such a sweet touch. Next gift is also a little bit obvious for yoga lovers, but you can get them essential oils or a diffuser or any kind of beauty product that involves scents, aromatherapy, get them a nice Christmas essential oil that they can put in their diffuser and their whole house will smell like pine trees. If you know the kind of scents that they like, what they're into, that can be a really personal touch because smell is so important uh, when it comes to feelings. So it can really make them feel homey and cozy as well as getting them a candle. You can get them a soy candle or a candle subscription box. Another gift that you could get someone is obviously like yoga wear and apparel, leggings. My go-to leggings are normally Lululemon because they just last forever if they love to travel. You get them a pair of yoga leggings for the airport and they will be so happy. Also, even like a nice warm polar sweater or a travel sweater, stuff like that is great before your yoga class as a warm up. You can also get it with some yoga pants. You can, of course, get them a yoga mat, especially if you find a great yoga brand that has a beautiful design on it. You can get them a yoga bag, just a great sized duffel bag, something that they can put 
not only their sweaty clothes in but enough to fit a towel and a water bottle that is always a greatly appreciated gift this next gift is a little different it's something that i had recently purchased for myself and after using it i realized okay this might be actually a beautiful gift to give someone else they are just blue lights glasses so something to help not absorb all of the light from your cell phones your laptops your tv and in the winter you just watch so much netflix and be cozy maybe wearing a cute pair of blue light glasses will minimize the strain on your eyes maybe give you less of a headache especially if this person works in an office or on their laptop might be a gift that they never thought about and if you kind of know their style you can give them something that maybe they're really really going to use these next gifts are kind of food related uh, maybe more healthy gift ideas so if they are someone that is really into making sure they eat very clean they're very conscious of what goes into their bodies you could think about getting them something like a food subscription box or something creative would be even like a probiotic prebiotic subscription box something that helps them with their gut flora if they're very into stuff like that or you can get them a vitamin subscription box even getting them stuff like teas you can get them matcha tea or chai tea from a nice uh, tea brand that they like and you can get them maybe a reusable coffee mug with it so they can enjoy their tea if you can find a way to make it like personalized by writing their name or your name onto it i think that would be a cute idea uh, if they're really into magic mushroom uh, coffee mixes where you have like shaga shiitake uh, blended into that mix last but not least i think one of the most special gifts you could give someone is an experience so maybe if you bought them tickets to go watch a show together or if you both booked a yoga class together or a workshop or if you're thinking really big you could book a yoga retreat together and you would just have such a special memory with that person even going on a meditation retreat or a sometimes they do silent retreats whatever really floats you and that person and it gives you an opportunity to connect even deeper in your relationship so i really hoped you liked this little list i will write down in the description maybe certain brands that go with each of these ideas that i think are good gifts for that special little yogi lover in your life i Hope you have an amazing month of December and stay tuned for more yoga flow videos each week right here. Namaste. Mm -hmm.